welcome back to another session of Azure DevOps training. So in this one, I'm going to quickly show you how you can create a project with Git or TFVC in your Azure DevOps. All right, so I will quickly move to my Azure DevOps. So um, I've, I'm already assuming that you have created your Azure DevOps free account, you have created an organization and you have already tried creating a project, a team, or like, you know, adding members to the team. If you're already comfortable with all of those things, then I think you can go ahead with this session as well. Okay. So I've already created this organization and under this organization, I'm going to show you how you can create a project with Git version control system. All right. So you need to click on new project and here, let's say, um, project with Git version control system of course you when whenever you're creating a project you're not going to name your project anything like this right this is just for the demo purpose okay and then you can add a description to the project you can say like you know uh git version control system project creation okay and then here if you want to keep your uh, project as public then you can choose public and if you want to keep your project as private then you can keep it as private if you keep it as private then anybody without logging in is not going to be able to see the project but if you keep it as public then anyone who knows the url of your project they will be able to access the project all right so i'm going to keep it as public for now but once you oh, okay so here once you click on advance here you will see two options one is for version control the other one is for work item process so this we have already discussed that there are four uh work item processes one is agile basic and then the third one is CMMI. And then the fourth one we have is Scrum. Everything else that you're seeing is the custom that I have created, all right? So once you know that, like, you know, what work item you need to select, you can select that as well here. And then in version control, you have two options, Git and Team Foundation version control, okay? So if you have seen... Uh, my previous video, then I think you would have an idea of version control that why do we actually use a version control system? All right. So, uh, and also like, you know, in one of the previous videos, I have also like, you know, created uh, like, you know, a video and I've just highlighted that what is the basic difference between choosing a Git version control system and team foundation version control system. All right. So if you don't have idea on this, then I would recommend you to go and at, at least like, you know, watch that video so that even though if you don't know things in detail, you will exactly know what is the basic difference and why should we be actually using Git over team foundation version control. Okay. So this project is for the demo of Git. So I'm just going to choose Git here and I'll just click on create. So the moment I choose version control as Git, so whatever repo I would be creating, whatever, like, you know, the kind of uh, push and commit, whatever will happen on the repository that is going to follow all the features of Git version control system. Okay. So we are not going to go into detail because, um, everything we will not be able to cover in this particular video. So we are going to have separate sessions on like, you know, how to set up a repo and how to like, you know, create a pull request, how to push or like, you know, commit your code and all of those things. So don't worry about it for now. Just go ahead. Uh, to your Azure DevOps account, uh, create an organization. If you have not, then create a project and in the version control, choose Git and then you will be set for that particular project. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and see how we can create a project with TFS. Of course, like, you know, the same process. Okay. So project with TFVC. Okay. Same thing, you can copy in the description. You can keep it as public if you want, or you can keep it as private. Here, rather than Git, I would choose Team Foundation Version Control, okay, TFVC. And in process, I can choose whatever I want. So here, I'll click on Create. Now, whatever, like, you know, repo setup, I will do whatever code repository that I would be create, creating and how developers are going to actually work on that particular repository in order to, like, you know, do any kind of commits to the code or, like, you know, do any kind of file changes to the code, all those things, like, you know, all the processes will be followed as per, like, you know, whatever is being defined for TFVC, right? Because TFVC is a centralized version control system and the rules are a little bit different, not a little bit different, but there's a, like, you know, good uh, number of differences that we have in a centralized version control system and a distributed control version control system, which is nothing but Git in our case, okay? So whenever you are creating a project with TFVC, then all the rules and regulations that will be applied to like, you know, commit or push your code or like, you know, the way your development team is going to work on the code repository is going to be different than the one that you would have created with 
git version control system okay so this was an over uh view of like you know a quick overview of how you can create a project with version control systems okay that are available in in azure which is nothing but git and tfvc all right so i'll see you in the next session till then uh keep watching and thank you